It's like a child, right? <laughs> How do you pick your favorite? Well, I, I do sometimes <laughs> have a favorite, but... Uh, child or gun? <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel, Crazy Life of Jake and Wife. Today we're going over our top five favorite firearms for 2022 and the beginning of 2023. We've got a couple different sections. We've got rifle section, which is our favorite rifle. Shotgun, which was edged out just slightly one over the other. Pistol caliber carbine. A couple, our, our favorite uh, full-size pistol. Our favorite carry pistol. And then some honorable mentions. And then we've got a couple honorable mm -hmm. mentions that were just really popular, really nice guns. Now stay tuned to the end because we do have a giveaway that's going to be awesome. And full disclosure up front is every weapon has been safety checked. Magazines are out. Chambers are clear. And let's get on with the uh, our favorite guns for 2022 and the beginning of 2023. All right, guys, so this is our favorite rifle for the year. Uh, it's pretty new. This is the new SIG MCX platform. This is the Spear LT or the Spear Lite. We have the previous generation, the SIG uh, MCX Rattler, which is incredible. This is the new Spear LT. If you've watched any videos on it, it is an incredible, incredible rifle. It comes in a few different variants. This is the 16-inch rifle version. They do make it in a couple calibers. They make it in a 5.56, um, which is the one we have here. They do make it in a 300 blackout. They make it in a 762 by 39. And uh, we just love, we love this rifle in a few different aspects. It's a lot lighter. It's an incredible shooter. The capabilities to be able to fold the stock are super convenient to be able to pack it away. It's a lot lighter than the, the previous MCX platforms. Um, just truthfully an incredible, an incredible rifle that we've absolutely loved. And it looks really sweet with all the tan. That's another reason why I love it. The EOTech matches. The Surefire X300 matches. Everything just matches on it. We got, got that monochromatic. Yeah, it just looks look. sweet. It's of course, popular. you throw you throw a can on the front, which is awesome. Um, we run the ASR brakes on almost every one of our uh, firearms, just so we can throw all the same mounts on all the suppressors onto them, just really quick, uh, quick on and off. So pretty dang cool. That's our favorite rifle. Just a sweet rifle. And let's jump up to the pistol caliber carbine. Okay. For our oh. pistol caliber carbine category, man, that's a mouthful. Um, we have this B and T APC nine. It was actually created by B and T for the army. This is the new submachine gun that the army is running right now. They use it for their personal security details. Uh, it was not created for uh, the entire army. Just the personal um, detail aspects of it. They are made to be light. It's meant to be, to be small, to be compact for those situations. Back in 2019, the army hadn't um, adopted a submachine gun platform since, the, since World War II. Then the army put out a request for samples for modern submachine guns with a rather strict requirement. They wanted a very small, submachine gun and their newest effort would be called the subcompact weapon system. The winner would be BNT's APC9K. They saw submissions from HK, SIG, CZ, PTR, many more all ultimately discarded, um, but their, their strict requirements made it really difficult to configure a weapon that would meet their specific needs. If you've ever, if you've ever shot a BNT firearm, BNT are incredible. Number one, this is made out of mostly polymer, which is, I think, a fancy name for plastic. <laughs> uh, which, when you first pick it up, you almost fe think it feels cheap. But man, there's nothing about a BNT that's that's cheap. They run so smooth. They run so incredibly well. This gun, I was a little bit uh, anxious in the beginning when we picked it up to see if we, it was going to group well because it's a little bit shorter of a barrel. It's a pistol caliber carbine. It groups extremely well. It's super nice. This one is in a nine millimeter caliber. Um, I love it. With a couple of things that I love about it, off the bat, you're gonna have the three lug mount. So really quick detach on and off for a suppressor if you want. Um, it comes with a couple different rails already up front. So we can throw a light, which is awesome. And then right here we're running just a little mini Trigicon ACOG, one and a half power on it. But uh, super sweet pistol caliber carbine, again, folding stock. You take this off and, dude, it's a backpack gun. Mm -hmm. It's little, it's nice, super convenient to carry. Uh, I run always something configured like this in the car. 
because it's just really easy to throw up, put in a case, and uh, fold it up, and you're ready to rip for the next one. Next up, we are going to be showing our favorite shotgun. Now, favorite shotgun, we're gonna talk specifically in the tactical category because we love shotguns. Of course, there's duck guns and all these other type of hunting shotguns out there. But for the tactical shotguns, there's one that edged out. My two favorite shotguns have always been the Benelli M4, which is iconic in the, in the shotgun world as a tactical shotgun. John Wick, of course, made it famous. I guess he probably didn't make it famous, but it's in John Wick and we love John Wick. And uh, I love that shotgun, but for this year, the winner is the Beretta 1301 Tactical. What I love about the Beretta 1301 Tactical, right off the bat, the reason why for me this year it edged out the M4 just slightly, is right off the bat, number one, it's, it's a lot less money than the, the Benelli M4. You're gonna get very similar features, but if you notice, ours is a little bit, uh, got a couple extras. You got the side caddy for extra rounds. It's got the Magpul front grip. Um, I got a light situation on here. And then of course, I've got a red dot on top. With all of these extra accessories on it, it's still less money than the than the Benelli M4 is right off the bat. And it shoots incredibly well. It shoots extremely reliable. Um, I've tried multiple different ammunitions through it. Some lower power stuff, uh, larger shells. Now buckshot is what I usually keep on here. Of course, if it's gonna be my tactical self-defense shotgun, um, I just, I love it. It shoots extremely well. It's a great price for how it runs. One that is definitely worth checking out. You won't go wrong if you decide to choose this shotgun. It's incredible. All right, now we are gonna move on to our full-size pistols. Um, this, we one have a, a, this one was a hard choice. We, we, have, we have one, but some honorable mentions. Got some, a few uh, honorable mentions as well. Just kind of like the... So just got, you have, I mean, it's like a child, right? <laughs> yeah. How do you pick your favorite? Well, I, I do sometimes have a favorite, but... Uh, Child or gun? <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> but what, what's our favorite pistol for this year? Favorite pistol is the SIG P320 Spectre Comp. So if anybody knows the Legion, the SIG X5 Legion, this is running the same basic frame on it, right? However, now you have the slide with the compensator built into it. And I freaking love black and gold guns. It's just something about me. Most of my custom Glocks, which you'll see on the channel here sometime, are all gold barreled black guns. I love it. So the aesthetics right off the bat loved it. But then when we went and shot this gun, I, I've shot the X5 Legion and I'm, I've been happy with it. It's been a good, it's been a good, uh, a good pistol. However, this one here, the Spectre Comp, it shoots so flat. There's no recoil. It's extremely flat shooting that just that alone, I was like, holy cow, this had to become my favorite immediately. Plus, it comes up with all these extras. You have a beautiful trigger. Uh, it's already optics ready, which almost all, every pistol that I run, I love optics on the top of them. So mm -hmm. I throw an optic on it. The optic on this, I usually love like Trig uh, Trigicon Hollow Sun have been my two favorite optics to run. This is the new Romeo 2 by SIG, and I am blown away. The optic on this is incredible. Very happy with it. And then, of course, a light again. We always got to have lights on pistols. They're mm -hmm. just sweet. So that's a favorite pistol for the year. Okay, so we got a couple honorable mentions in, in, our... the, in the full-size <laughs> pistol category. Mm -hmm. This was a hard choice. Even though we picked the Spectre Comp, a couple that we absolutely just loved for a full-size pistol that just shot extremely well. The Beretta 92X Performance. Beretta 92X Performance. If you so the 92 platform right off the bat is just one of my favorites. It's iconic. It's a it's a platform that's been around forever. The 92X platform has been something that I've loved from day one. Like when you were a little kid and you thought of a gun, or there was like a picture of a gun on a, a, a no gun zone, it always seemed to be the Beretta. On all the movies, I remember all the movies back in the day. They were always the Beretta. So for me, Beretta's been there forever. Um, I have quite a few of the 92X platforms that I absolutely love. It's just this one specifically, there's just something about it. It's heavier, it's meant to be in their competition lineup. And then we've got, last honorable mention is gonna be the CZ Shadow. This is the TS2 model, the green one. This one's gonna be a little bit more, uh, very much competition oriented. It's got the ramp for the thumb. Uh, just a really good shooter as well. If you've shot any of these CZ Shadow 2s, you know they shoot well. But after shooting them all side by side, the Spectre Comp just shoots so flat. It's just hard to beat. I mean, you're on target every every follow-up shot. It's on target. 
It doesn't recoil. The fact you can throw an optic on it, it just, it just shoots. Anyway, love that gun. And now let's move up to our favorite carry gun for the year. And then it's honorable mention. Our favorite carry gun is the Sig P365. And uh, she's dusty, but you know, that's what happens when you carry it. You don't really get a whole lot of time to use it. It's a lot more uh, dust on there. <laughs> it's good that we don't get a chance to use it. This one is the 365 XL model. My wife carries the 365 standard model. With the yeah. XL model, again, the reason why it's uh, been one of our favorites is just so versatile. You have tons of round capacity for how small the gun is. Uh, the reason why I carry the 365 XL, again, it's optics cut and ready, and I'm a huge optics fan on pistols because they just acquire targets so much quicker. A light, of course, on Got it as well. Got the lights. Um, yours runs a light, too. Mm -hmm. She just doesn't have the optic on it, but... Uh, yeah. One of, our, one of our favorite carry guns, and anybody who's been shooting in the carry gun world knows about the 365. you know how great the, the firearm is. It just runs. It's uh, comfortable, great grip, great round capacity, just shoots well. For our honorable mention, and one that also seems to find its way in my pants pretty regularly. Yes, it does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is the Kimber Micro. This is the repeat version. Um, just, a, just a nice, just a nice little 1911. There's something about a 1911 that's been around for, uh, you know, since 1911 that hits the hearts of most gun lovers. And to be able to have a miniature, like a miniature version of a 1911 is just fun. The gun shoots extremely well. The reason why I like the repeat version, it has a little flared magwell that increases the grip size. Honorable mention on this gun, not my top pick. But, but he XL. does carry them both pretty... I do carry them both pretty regularly. Regularly. The reason why the 365 edged out, round <laughs> capacity, it's double the round capacity of the, the micro. Uh, optics ready, phenomenal. The option to, to run... A light. A light slash laser. It's just, you gotta have it. Mm -hmm. It's just great. He loves the accessories. I, I do like the accessories. That, that's why I... That's why, it's, that's why it's been a lot of watches. Yeah, that's Guns, true. All the things. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> he just likes accessories in general. <laughs> Doesn't matter what it is. Anyway, uh, those are our favorite favorite guns for the year 2023. I mean, 2022, beginning of 2023. We'll see kind of what 2023 yeah. brings. But um, I'm sure there'll be more in the future. I, I, we like them. You'll see some reviews. We wanted to get out and shoot these guns today. It has uh, snowed all day. But it has not stopped snowing all day long today. And that's just, uh, that's Idaho. Anyway, we sure appreciate you being with the channel. So because you've been watching this video and, and uh, supported our channel, we got a couple giveaways that we're going to run today. Um, something simple, something small. But this is a hometown company from Idaho. And uh, we are uh, some Idaho people. We got Amend 2 is the company. 15 round magazines, uh, sorry, 30 round magazines for AR-15s. I'm going to send out a couple of those to anybody who likes the video, comments on the video. And uh, if you share, I'll add another, I'll add another entry. Uh, entry to it. You do have to be make sure you're subscribed to the channel. But for any of the subscribers that are out there, um, here on Friday this week, which will be... Five days, tw the 20th? <laughs> whatever that is. <laughs> we'll do the giveaway. And I'm going to send you some Idaho magazines. If you're in a state that can't have... 15 round magazines and we uh, pick you as a winner then we'll throw up a gift card to Amazon um, to be able to get some whatever works for you but if you live in the states that uh, do like the Second Amendment and freedom I won't name the ones that don't uh, we'll send you out some sweet uh, Idaho magazines 30 round mags I'll send two of them they'll be awesome anyway thanks so much for joining the channel uh, subscribe like it and enjoy the time that we had with us and continue to watch all the random things we do because in the end, that's why we call it The, the Crazy, crazy life. life. 